Hi everyone, it's KG Beauty Within, Catherine Gage, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. And tonight, it's always Thankful Tuesdays, but it's, I normally do my bookings on Tuesday nights. I normally, that's the night I sit aside to do calls and I got, I got about 20 people I need to call because I really had a great time at, at the Bold and Beautiful Love Your Skin Pampering event. Uh, four beautiful ladies showed up and I really enjoyed myself and they gave me some leads and um, so I got to get in contact with all the leads that I received and I got 17 leads that day uh, from four great wonderful ladies and um, promise you I would take good care of them but I decided to take a break tonight um, Sometimes you have to just take a break. You have to take a moment and just breathe and the moment to just, just realize that you're tired and you can't do anymore. You can't push yourself anymore. And just take a break. And it's hard. It's hard for me to take a break. I'm seriously, it's hard. I, um, I work full time, work my job full time, and I do my Mary Kay part time, but it will be full time eventually because that's something that I love. I love, I love Mary Kay. But sometimes you can just, you just need to take a break. And I just want to encourage you because if you're not um, taking time out for yourself, taking out time for your family, and you're not putting things in perspective, then that's going to take a toll on your family as well. Um, so I decided that I. Deliberately didn't bring anything in the house to work on tonight And I'm just gonna sit here and rest and get myself recuperated so that I can be able to do it again so To all the entrepreneurs out there keep doing what you're doing. You know what? There's so many businesses out there There's so many things out there that people are doing and you know what? I'm not mad at anybody. If you're doing it works, keep doing it works. If you're doing Avon, keep doing Avon. If you keep, if you're doing whatever your business is and it's legit and legal, keep doing it. You know what? We're supporters of one to another, okay? Um, I don't down anybody business because we're all out here trying to make it. So if you're still pushing yourself and grinding yourself, but you realize you need to take a break, take that break. Because you know what, it's not going to do you any good laying up in the hospital. I got dehydrated the other week and I ended up in the hospital with IV up my arm. And my husband told me, he said, you know what, if you don't rest your body, God has a way to make you rest. And I don't want to be made to rest anymore. So I'm going to take a break and I'm going to just enjoy this night of doing nothing <laughs> i did i even took a break from cooking i went and got some herbs and we're gonna eat some chicken tonight because i am just straight up tired um because i've really put a lot into the um that um the events i love doing those i love doing the events and i love when they come together i love the ideas and when they come together and I'm excited about the future, excited about my new team. I, you know, until it comes to fruition, I will still speak into existence because it's going to happen. I'm excited about my unit. I'm excited about my pink Cadillac Escalade or whatever pink, whatever I decide to have. I'm excited about that. I'm just excited about life. And um, so I just wanted to tell you. That if you're doing something, keep doing it if it's good. And if it's productive, keep doing it. Don't stop because people uh, people don't support you. Don't stop because you don't feel like you're getting the support you need. Because you know what? A lot of times, it's just you needing to do it. It's not for everybody. Your dream, God may have given you a dream. And it might be your dream. It's not for everybody to carry out your dream. So don't get discouraged when everybody's not on the bandwagon. You don't need everybody on the bandwagon. You just need a few people. You need a few people in your life that are there to support you, there to tell you the truth, there to push you, and there to help you. You just need a few. You don't need a whole lot of people. 
because everybody's not going to be on the bandwagon and everybody's not going to support you. And what you're going to do when they don't pat, when they don't pat you on the back? What you're going to do when they don't tell you you're doing a good job? Are you going to quit? Are you going to tuck your tail and run? Or are you going to stick to it? Perseverance is important. Hey, perseverance is important. Keep fighting. Don't give up, you know? And when you feel that you need a break, take a break, okay? That's, that's, that's two sick tips for tonight. When you feel like you need a break, take a break. When you feel like you need um, a breather, take a breather. It's okay. It's okay to step away and to get yourself regrouped. That may mean you got to get you a book and curl up and, and read you a positive book. Or you may need to get you a positive tape. And most importantly, you need to talk to God and give him some time. You know what I'm saying? Um... I just love him. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I tell you what, um, I uh, was on Facebook not too long ago, and um, a preacher was on there. And he had some gr- he had some great nuggets. I'm telling you, it was really great. But he was cursing a lot, and I made a comment about him cursing. Of course, you know, people come on talking about I'm being negative, and a lot of times. We don't want to speak out on anything because we, we're so afraid of what people are going to say. I wasn't being negative. You had a good message, sir. But you you went way out of line with all that cursing and talking about, you know, telling people of uh, telling people about God, and, you know, was a pastor. You just, It was just too much. And you know what? And I commented on it. And I'm not going to take it back. You know how sometimes you want to feel, you feel like you need to go back on there. And you need to go say your little two piece. Uh, so like, I don't like, I, like, I sometimes like to get the last word. You know, God would not let that remark go through. He would not even let, I tried my best to get that post to post. I can't find it. I can't. You know what God said? You don't have to explain yourself to nobody. If that was too much for you, that was just too much for you. And you don't even have to explain it. You don't have to get on Messenger and try to message nobody and try to tell them that you wasn't trying to be negative. Because I know myself. And I, you know, I thank God for that. I didn't need any validation. I didn't need any approval. I'm 45 years old. I have my own opinion. And when I want to speak something, I'm going to speak it. And if you don't agree, hey, you just don't agree. Let's agree to disagree, okay? So, I am so happy that God did not let me say what I wanted to say. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing bad, but it was just a comeback. I always try to have a comeback. Well, God said not this time because you don't have to validate yourself. You don't have to explain yourself. You just be yourself. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong because that's all a part of growing up. And I just want to say... Just some little nuggets for tonight, you know. Um, take a break. Give yourself some time. Give yourself the time to regroup, you know. Um, Sometimes you can just do too much. You can you can be so uh, so wanting to do it so bad that you just do too much. And when you do too much, then you have to just you run yourself down, and you're not good for anybody. You're not good for your family. Family time is very important. And you know what? I started to do. I, I, I got my calendar out and I marked off my days. I really managed to I really managed the times that the times I'm gonna read my Bible, the times I'm gonna pray, the times that I'm gonna work my Mary Kay, and the time that's family time. I tell you, and I have set aside my Monday nights for family time. And I'm gonna tell you something. It took everything in me to stick to that schedule because I felt like I needed to do something on Monday night. I felt like I needed to do some more work. But I had dedicated that time to my family and to my husband. And who we had a one. He had a birthday yesterday. And I felt like I said, I told him, baby, we done celebrated so much. I feel like I done had a birthday. I said, watch in a couple of months. I'm going to think I done turned 46 because I always do that. Every time we turn a year, I turn a year. Cause I'm trying to keep us 10 years apart. which We're actually 11 years apart. Uh, but it took everything in me, y'all. To just not do anything, Mary Kay. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to stick to this schedule because the, the joy that I see on my family face when I say, hey, this is our time. We're going to laugh. We're going to play. We're going to do whatever. That That's important. That's important. That is very important. 
I remember when my daughter was younger and um, I was a single mom and I worked all the time, but I didn't try to miss any of her events. I even had a job uh, when I was working for a computer lab while I was in college, going back to college. And and every time she would have her basketball games, everybody would be like, oh, Lord, here she come. Because they knew that around 7 o'clock I was going to be taken off and I was going to be going to that, that game and I was going to be Rowdy Piper and I was going to be the uh, the referee and everybody else, the coach. That's just me. But it made my daughter feel good. And you know what? You know you're not supposed to live life in regrets. For a very long time, I was a very serious person. And I still am to a certain extent. But I didn't like to play. I didn't like to take the time to smell the roses. I just didn't, you know, playful, being playful was just not it. Although I have a great sense of humor, but being playful is just something that I have to try to do. And sometime I look back on those times and I was like, I missed out on a lot of my daughter's life. Um, as I was always there, but I missed out on a lot because I wasn't a playful person. I didn't, I didn't want to get out and, and pop fireworks and I still don't. I thank God for my sister Lavina who did all that for me, but it's not the same as I look back at, when I look at my sister, uh, Gloria, and I am just, I'm so proud of you, sis, because she takes so much time out with her daughters, and she's always out there playing with them, and she's always out there trying to teach them how to do this, and trying to teach them how to do that, and that is just so commendable of you my sister I appreciate that I appreciate seeing it in you because I missed out on that and so I st I've started to do a little bit more things with my daughter you know trying to learn how to do a video game or trying to learn how to do this and she's like mom oh I'm so happy that you did this and I'm so happy you know and since I've been on the weight loss journey you know I'm able to walk up a hill and not get as short-winded and you know those little things matter you know it's time for us to take care of ourselves because nobody's going to take care of you people will tell you how much they love you and they will work you to the put they will work you to the grave and then they'll talk about how good you were i'm determined not to be that type of person because i want to live life to the fullest so that was just a little insert tonight didn't mean to be on here this long but i just wanted to tell you that if you're tired get some rest and if you need to take a break it's okay that work will be there tomorrow those ideas will be more fresher when you refresh yourself have a blessed night everybody talk to you real soon bye bye